Hi guys, Chad Trofkerbin here, welcoming you back to the Steve and the Alien Tutorials series. In this lesson, we'll be focusing on how to draw the UFO that chases our heroes and eventually leads to an ending that you guys will decide how to design. This is a pretty simple design I came up with, and feel free to add more to it. So to get started, you'll need a new document. And we will make a group layer for this. So go to new layer and choose group. And I'll just name the group layer UFO. Now we will just drag the um, first layer that's by default on the document into that group layer. And we can now rename this to body and click OK. Now I'll choose the add point tool and you can put auto fill on if you wish and make sure that sharp corners are turned off. Coming over here to the style settings, we want to make sure our width is set to four. We'll set the stroke to black and the fill color, which I'll probably make a gradient. I'll make a dark blue for right now. So, Again, this is a very simple design. I'm going with the classic UFO shape. My idea when I originally created this was to have a very sleek looking metal object with very minimal detail, actually. And that is not something that you have to do, but you can take my design and then tweak it how you see fit. So starting near the top here, we can come in with our add point tool and start adding in some points. Kind of like that. And I can kind of adjust my points here just so they're similar in how everything is designed here. And I might need to add another point right here to achieve that. Okay, and that can always be readjusted after we get the whole shape down. But now, from here, I'm going to create some extensions going outward like this. And then bring some rounded edges down like that and come down like this. I can move this over like that. Then from here, we're going to have another dip. Come up like this. And then we'll have another similar shape going across like this. And then up. And like that. Now some adjusting can be done here. Like I can bring some of these points out a little bit just to make things a little bit more rounded. And by looking at this, this side up here is bigger than this side. So I can bring it in. And I can even extend these up a little bit. Okay. Now that we have that part of the UFO, I'll next make the glass part of the UFO where we supposedly have the pilot or the crew driving the ship. So make a vector layer and I'll just name this glass and then take the add point tool. And for my fill, I can make it just a lighter color for right now. Again, I'll be changing this momentarily after I make my 
um, gradients. But starting right about here, I will just kind of go up and create a glass dome structure like this. And I can also move the glass part below the body layer. If you guys didn't do that already, make sure you do. And bring it down like that. And finally, I will add a gradient to this. So starting with the body, I will use my select shape tool and click on the body. Come up here to my effect and choose the gradient option. And I'll do a dark blue color. I'm going to a lighter blue color. And I'll make it radial. And I kind of want the lighter color to be on the inside so I can just swap these colors around like this. So now that the lighter color is on the outside, and actually I kind of even want to make it a little bit lighter like that. And click OK. And then we can bring the gradient in like this and move it where we want. Something like that. And then we can take the glass and do the same thing. Select it with our Select Shape tool, and then choose the gradient, make it radial. We'll have a white center and a light blue exterior like that. And then we can, again, bring it in like that. So there is our UFO. And finally, I kind of want to make a couple of tweaks here. I don't really... I kind of want this to be more seamless now that I was looking at it. Kind of bring things in like that. More like that. I like that a little bit better. And the same can be applied right here. It looks a little bit better. It's not quite up to par like it was with my promo video UFO. Again, when you create something by yourself and then you try to teach it, sometimes it doesn't always go according to how you want it. But this is pretty close. And of course, you can add your own corrections to this. But for right now, this will work for your project. And again, I was going for the more sleek looking metal object that's kind of ambiguous in some cases, but you can always add your own tweaks to this. You can add details, you can add lights, you can add whatever you wish. So by all means do that because again, this is your project and it's important for you to express your creativity. Anyway, make sure you guys save this file so we can bring it in later. And I'll be bringing you more tutorials coming soon in this series. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys then.